well, what a first season it was. Pro Vaselli, my goodness me, I'm in love with this place. And look at this behind. What a place. I tell you what, got to visit it. It's beautiful. Let's go and have a look at this beautiful trophy we just won. Yes, here we are. And I don't know why we won two trophies, but there's only one. I don't know where this end of season cup thing has gone. I don't know. But there it is. The beautiful trophy that is the Serie C title winners. Absolutely beautiful. Now, De Gildo gets signing of the season. A 7.36. What a season. Six goals. Eight assists. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Brutalano. Another one. Beautiful. 7.27. Eight goals, four assists. Not too bad. Kaiser. Out on that right-hand side as well. Another one out there. He got seven goals. No assists, actually. A bit strange, but we'll go with that. Al Mickey. Oh, yes. My goodness me. Six assists. One goal. Lovely. Bove. They were well happy. The fact we got him for not a lot of great wages. It cost us £45,000, but they seem okay with that. So only the one goal to his name. But um, yeah, we're happy with that indeed. Now, Petrella. He's another one. Another right-hand side player. Five goals, four assists, a 7.04 for him as well. Camagalano. Oh, this being classed as one of our signings, but we didn't bring him in. He was brought in on loan. Three goals, two assists. Great stuff. Akusen, he even got a goal as well. Bowen, oh, only on a 6.99. Three goals, three assists. Pretty good. Vagani, look, a 6.96. 15 goals, two assists. Interesting. And the rest of them, yeah, the board, an A+. Plus. Absolutely fantastic. An overachieving season. Happy days. 5-0. Biggest win against Guiana. Lovely stuff. Padova. Match to remember. 4-2 victory. Fantastic stuff. Goal of the season goes to Nepi. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? So Nepi's goal. Let's have a little look. Bove picks up the ball into Emanuelano. Nepi injured. Now we saw this goal. On camera, that was a fine, fine goal. He was injured at the time and still managed to smash it away. Top shirt sales, Vigani, Emanuelano, Petrella, Almicki and Kaiser. Well, I'm surprised at that. I thought Nepi might have been up there, but um, obviously not too worried about that. But Vigani picking up the top shirt seller, well happy. Now going through the team... They've pretty much got it right, I think. It's looking like it. Yeah, I would say all the usual faces are there. Rutilano was the right-hand side. Menulano. I thought Luti might have got in there, but Bagani look, on that 6.96. And the midfield, all below a 7 as well. And, and Giacomo, he was below a 7. So, a bit strange. But here we go. Fans, player of the season is Alasso Nepi with a 7.3. He also got Young Player of the Year. I, it always makes me wonder when they're 24 years of age picking up that, but signing of the season to Gildo on a 7.4. That is crazy. I'm guessing this must be over a season thing. Nepi actually with the goal of the season we've seen. Also top goal scorer with 18 goals in the season. Matteo Maggio. 12 assists, Nepi with those five man of the matches. Now, Nepi also picks up highest average rating on 7.3, even though De Gildo had 7.4. So I'm guessing because he started more games, the ratio balances itself out and all. 
and Bove was 74 passes in 90 minutes. Any competition awards? No. Bit, bit early for that sort of thing. Matteo Maggio into the record breakers with 12 assists, Nepi with 5, and Bowen with 5 yellow cards. So nobody above the 5 yellow cards. That's pretty good. Provacelli owe their promotion to powering through the middle of the season. Really set them on their way. Beautiful stuff. And as we like to do on the Presec channel, Willy Wonka bars, here they are, look. The golden ticket. There, two of them. Triumph in the cup and the league. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, season expectations and all that sort of thing, we've got to go through. So supporters profile. Hardcore is down, but fair weather. We managed to get a lot more fair weather people in, so that's pretty good. And we're also up by 2,000 followers on social media. We're doing something right. Vision, sign players under the age of 20, disappointed. Well, we wanted to get a core team together that would get us out of the division, so we <laughs> couldn't really do that. And also, with all these low knees coming in at 29 and all, how I can't do anything about that so and another thing i can't really do we gotta to work towards repairing the club's financial damage like i've said it before it's all to do with these blooming low knees we we didn't bring them in but um well we'll accept that and just move on end of season team meeting we don't worry about all that sort of rubbish and we're off for our season break so now like we did say in the previous video strikers i think we're fine Right and left. Maybe we need a left-sided, but Petrella can play there as well. And then we've got Kaiser and Rutilano. So maybe we're sorted right and left, unless somebody exceptional comes along. Midfield, Bowen, and then the rest of them aren't that great. Defenders, Akusen is our best one. He didn't play a lot last season. Rodeo, apparently, is our best right back. Right. And we've only got one goalkeeper. I think we better go sign some players. So I thought the first thing we want to do is get our current players signed because a lot of them are out of contract. Bowen being one. Also, um, Sazi Patini, he was out of contract as well. So a new contract for him. But Bowen was the big one. He had a release clause of £273,000. We've now got that up to a million pounds. So we're, if anyone wants him, it's going to cost them a million pounds. Happy days. This is one that always baffles me. The fact that I think our money has come in from sponsorships and stuff. So we was two million pounds in debt. We're now 800,000 pounds. And the board are delighted that I've repaired the club's financial damage. I have done nothing. I've sold no one. In fact, what I have been doing is signing everyone up. Giacomo, he's signed a new contract now. I don't know if he's going to be first choice, but we've agreed to put him as first choice and we'll go from there. We do avoid being hit with a tax bill as well. The commercial stuff has all come through as well. So there's a new five-year deal with a £1.2 million per year deal. So that's pretty good. Also a new kit sponsorship for £600,000, which was previously two fifty. dollars So there again, lots of money coming in. Also about to get a new um, under-20, no, under-18s manager. This is the one who's going out. Rossini, who isn't very good. And just someone who's quite a bit better. Yeah, Pakela. He's, yeah, it's just... Improvements all round. Well, another week gone by and um, Antonio de Gildo was rated as the player of the year for Serie C. Absolutely unbelievable. Great stuff. And just really happy for the boy. You know, he really was a great player for us this season. He is starting to drop off though. The pace is going. It's not ideal. Also, Nepi picks up Serie C goal of the season, so that's really good as well. We've got loads in the team of the year. Maggio, Bove and Camagalano in there as well, but we don't have the striker. That's not always good. Rutilano picks up young player of the year for Serie C. 
that's great. It's just everywhere, right through it. Fantastic news. Right, let's go and sign some more players. Well, they're saying that the Serious B, I keep saying C, Serie B season draws nearer. So Udinese have been relegated, Genoa and Verona. Oh my goodness me. So that's three huge teams that have come down. Does it mean that the fixtures are in? No, not yet. But that is three massive, massive teams that have come into our division. Oh, I don't like the look of this for the new season. Not good. Well, the season expectations are in. Yeah, we've got £81,000 worth of wage budget, no transfer budget, as we said previously. Attempt to avoid relegation from Serie B. Sort out all our new social feeds and stuff. And some breaking news. The Gildo is retired. He has retired from football. It's a shame. But the boy, he was good for us. He's now an assistant manager who, to be honest, pretty rubbish. <laughs> Not going to go getting him, unfortunately. But he, he did do well for us. So um, we'll, we'll just say well done. Now, also, the fixtures are in. Yes, Pisa, first game of the season. But we've also got a preliminary round of the Italian Cup, which we don't know who we got yet. But we've got Pisa, first game of the season. So I'm guessing then that the season expectations are all in. Are they? Season preview, second bottom. <laughs> second bottom behind Torres. That's not ideal. Do we have anyone in the Dream 11? No. Maggio and Condilo actually is one of our better players, apparently. Three star player, four and a half star potential. Wow. Where on earth has he come from? Where was he playing last year? So he was out on loan, only played one game. That is interesting. That is interesting. So he is our Dream 11 player, along with Maggio. Okay. Yeah, work to be done. Yeah, Genoa, favourites. Udinese. Sampdoria are in here as well. And Bari and Brescia. Oh my goodness me, look at the state of this division. Not good. While well, it's trialist time, it's the 1st of July and we've got a whole host of them coming in. Are they here? They are now here. We have got... How many's there? Minus the one who's in there. So 18 players in on trial. And looking at them, if we do it by potential, my goodness me, we have got quite a few players that would be huge for us. If we put them by current ability... Oh... oh. These are good. Our director of football is a good boy. Well, being our second best player at the club, Simone Condello, we've got him signed to a new deal. Got to. <laughs> Apparently he wants to be a regular starter, so we're going to have to try and squeeze him in some place. But we've also got our first signing of the season, Willy Camwala. Now this lad comes in from Man United on a free transfer. He is a four and a half star potential player. He is a three and a half star current ability player. Six foot four, jumping reach of 16, 19 years of age. Yeah, 10 heading. <laughs> Need to work on that a little bit. But um, Willy Kambala, Kambwala, yeah, I think he could be a good boy for us, especially on a free transfer. Taking a chunk of money as well. Six and a half grand a week. And we've got our second major signing in now this boy is another one Vittorio Contanelli and he is a defensive midfielder that is what he is simple as that he is a ball winning midfielder can play in central midfield but he'd rather just sit in front of the back four and looking at him that's all I want him to do I just want him to sit there bust people up sort stuff out and just win that ball back five star potential Four-star current ability, in on a free transfer, only £2,500. Another one off the conveyor belt that is Juventus. Well, these trialists are absolutely fantastic. Constantino Pavaselli. Now, this boy, he is a left-back, left midfielder, left wing-back, five-star potential, four-and-a-half-star current ability, 2.2k a week. 
he's not great with marking, but we can work on that. He says he'd rather be a, a winger, but to be honest, I'm thinking of him as a complete wing back on support. Up and down that way for us. In from Fiorentina on a free transfer, 20 years of age. Oh, Avasali, lovely. Well, no more signings as yet, but the Italian Cup has been drawn. So let's view the draw. In fact, can we just draw all teams? Because I think it's a no, there's not many teams here. Right, automatic draw. I thought it was going to be loads. Well, it's because it's a preliminary round, isn't it? So Torres are out. That's not us. Is it, oh, yeah, there is only just a few teams. Spal, Provacelli. Here we are. We're in Padova. Oh, my goodness me. Really? We've got to renew our rivalry with Padova straight away. That's not ideal. Got to draw more. Oh, hang on. Draw all teams. I'm not doing all that. Lecce. If we win against Padova, we've got Lecce. So where's that come in for the schedule then? So it's all moved around. What's happened here then? So Pisa's moved right out. So we've actually got Genoa. Oh my goodness me. They're the, are they the, they're the favourites, aren't they? Were they favourites? Oh, great. We got favourites straight away. Has any of our players made it higher up the list? Contanillo is there now, so he's there. So he's moved in instead of Condello. But Maggio still is the best player. Oh, goodness. What a start to the season that's going to be. New signing alert. Heverton. Yeah, he's not called Everton, he's Everton. Now this boy is a Brazilian, 23 years of age. Good right back, can play left back as well. Four and a half star potential, four star current ability. He's good. This boy is good. He can't tackle much, he's got 10. But my goodness me, as a complete wing back on support or a wing back on defend, this boy really is going to be good for us, I hope. And if he's not, he's worth nearly two and a half million quid. Got no flair, so it's just up and down, up and down. Let's go. Well, there's another one. Idris Voka. Now, he is a 27-year-old Kosovan international. Four-star potential, four-star current ability. He's had 17 caps for Kosovo, so I'm really happy. Again, another defensive midfielder. Can play in central midfield as well. Not the quickest player in the world, but he's just got some great, well-rounded stats. Likes to be a central midfielder on defend, Carolero, that sort of thing as well. So I think we might have a real, real bit of talent on our hands here. So welcome, Voca. Well, the season's not that far away and some of the odds are in. Top goal scorer, have we got one? No, Genoa and all are in there just absolutely smashing that. But odds for this season, yeah. Not us again. <laughs> Udinese, Pisa, Genoa, just absolutely taking this lot to pieces. I was hoping we could have a few in there, but no. We have sorted out our squad numbers. And uh, yeah, I think Rodeo is going to be moving on by the look of it. We'll have to wait and see how things go there. First preseason friendly, Medina, 3-0 defeat. What? Not the greatest of starts for preseason I was hoping for. Not good at all. But this is the one we do want. Young Players of the Year. We've got two here. Rutilano and Sabilo as well. Both of them 18 years of age. Both in there saying that they've got potential to do it. So that's good news. It's just a few players we're looking at. But um, yeah, it's, it's starting to look a little bit better. I'm hopeful. Don't think we've moved up at all, have we? Let's have a little look. Season preview. No, but 50 to 1, that's better. It was 150, I think. And um, yeah, we're... Voca is in there as well. Maggio is still the best player at the club. Is that is that right? No, it's saying Voca is. Yeah, go with it. So there's not a massive amount of sign-ins this summer, but, you know, just the five. But I think those five have really strengthened us up. Like I said, there was a few players going out. Yes, Rodeo has left us. Coma's left us as well, and Alderbalde, he has gone as well. So we've brought in £245,000 worth, 
and not spent a penny. We did say we were going to try and do free transfers. The transfer window hasn't shut yet, but I'm sure last season it was already shut at the start of the season, so I'm not quite sure what's gone on there. Competition, don't think anything's changed. Still 50 to 1. Still Maggio and Voca. So five signings. Tactics wise, maybe something like this, possibly. Yes, I think this is what we're going to look like. So Giacomo in goal. I still am trying to sign a goalkeeper, so we'll see what happens there. But Heverton down on that right-hand side. Kamwala, Bove and Pavasali. Vuka, Bowen, Kassa. I think we're going to go with Kassa. Maggio, Vagani and Nepi up front. So all in all, I'm pretty happy. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed that transfer special. Yes, only five players signed. Brand new division. Maybe we should have done a bit more. But as it stands at the moment, we don't have a great deal of money left. We are a couple of grand over what we're going to be spending. We're also £2 million in debt again. So can't do nothing about it, I'm afraid. All right, we'll see you for those first two games of the season. Please do like, subscribe and get notified. Don't forget, comments down below as well. See you next time out. Goodbye.